Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn some differentiation formulas along with some examples. And some of the important rules or formulas covered over here are power rule, product rule, quotient rule and chain rule. Now let us focus on the first rule or formula. The differentiation of any constant with respect to x will be equal to 0, where a is any constant in this given equation. So for example, if in an equation it is given that differentiate y is equal to 2 with respect to x. So we are going to do it this way. d by dx, that is since we are differentiating with respect to x, so we are going to differentiate y with respect to x equal to d over dx of 2 because y is equal to 2 in this case. So this will be equal to 0. So if you have any constant in a given equation or expression, the differentiation of that constant becomes equal to 0. Now the second rule or formula is differentiation of ax with respect to x will be equal to a. Now again a is a constant over here. So again for example if we take y is equal to 15x. Now let us differentiate y with respect to x. So we are going to write here dy by dx that is differentiating y with respect to x is equal to d by dx of 15x. Now here 15 is a constant so we can take 15 out of d over dx and we can write it as 15 times dx because this x stays over dx. So if you see dx and dx divides each other and we are left with the number only. So dy by dx or differentiation of 15x will give us 15 only. Now let us take another example. Let's say that y is equal to x. Now we have to differentiate y with respect to x. So here we are going to write dy by dx is equal to, now we are going to differentiate x with respect to x. So it becomes dx over dx, which will be equal to 1 because it divides each other. So you have to remember that the differentiation of x gives you 1. And if there is any constant along with x, you get the differentiation of that term as the number itself. Now another example can be y is equal to 213x. Now you can differentiate this and give your answer in the comment section below. Now the third rule of differentiation we have considered here is the power rule. Now the formula for power rule is d by dx of x raised to any power n will be equal to the power comes out that is n and it multiplies with x but the power of x reduces by 1. So we get it as n times x to the power of n minus 1. So this indicates the power rule. Now let us try to use this formula to solve the first example. Now this is a differentiation of x to the power of 3. Since this is in the form of x raised to power of n, we are going to take the power out first that is 3 comes out and it multiplies with x and the power of x reduces by 1, that is 3 minus 1. So further simplifying this, we get 3 times x to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2. So this is the differentiation of x to the power of 3. Let us try the second one. Now the second question is differentiation of 4 times x to the power of 4. Now 4 is a constant, so we can take it out of the differentiation. So we can write it as 4 times d by dx of x to the power of 4. Now this implies the power rule. So here let us write down first 4 multiplies with. Now here we have the power coming out. So 4 times 4 times x to the power of. Now the power reduces by 1 that is 4 minus 1. So here we are going to simply write it as 4 times 4 is 16. x to the power of 4 minus 1 which is 3. Now let us try the third one. So here we have. Now there is a shortcut as well. You can just multiply the power with the constant which is present. That is 2 times 5 gives us 10 times x to the power of 2 minus 1 which is 1 itself. So directly you get the answer as well. So either you can use this method initially when you are learning differentiation. And once you have understood the formula properly, you can directly use the shortcut method. Now let us look at the next example. Now here is the differentiation of square root of x. Now here in this video, I have explained how to convert the radicals or certs into fractional powers. So you can check out the video. 
Now here, square root of x is changed to a fractional power. So I have written d by dx of x to the power of 1 over 2. Square root changes as 1 over 2. Now again we are going to make use of the power rule. So here 1 over 2 the power comes out. So I am going to write here 1 over 2 times x to the power of. Now here the power we are going to write as it is and it is reduced by 1. So 1 over 2 minus 1. This is going to give us 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 gives you minus 1 over 2. Now usually we keep the powers as a positive power. So using the laws of indices, I am going to write here 1 over 2 times. Now to make the x power as a positive power, I am going to reciprocate this term. So here I am going to write it as 1 over x to the power of 1 over 2. So when you reciprocate the term, the negative power changes to positive power. And we know that x to the power of 1 over 2 is nothing but square root term. So here I am going to convert it as 1 over 2 times 1 over square root of x. Now the rule or formula number 4 and 5 are addition and subtraction of some terms. Now if you are differentiating an expression in which the terms are added together, so you are going to differentiate each term of that expression. So here you can see u plus v. So you are going to differentiate u separately with respect to x and add it with the differentiation of v with respect to x. Similarly, it holds true for subtraction of the terms as well. So let us consider some examples now. Now the first example is, the expression is given as f of x equal to x square plus x. So we have to differentiate f of x with respect to x. So here we can see that d by dx of f of x is equal to, now x square is one term and x is another term which are added together. So we are going to differentiate x square separately and differentiate x separately and then add them together. Now here we have to make use of the power rule. So here differentiation of x to the power of 2 is, now the power comes down, so 2 and gets multiplied with x. Now the power reduces by 1, 2 minus 1, you get it as 1. Plus, now this is dx of dx, they divide each other, dx 1 times and dx 1 times, so you get it as 1. And we know that differentiation of x is 1 itself. So you get the differentiation of f of x here as 2x plus 1. Now let us look at another example. y is equal to 3x cube plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 90. So we have to differentiate y with respect to x. So I am going to write here dy by dx. And here we have to make use of all the rules we have learned so far. That is power rule, differentiation of a constant term which is along with x and differentiation of a constant term. So here the differentiation of first term is the power 3 multiplies with the constant 3. So we get 3 times 3 is 9 times x. Now the power reduces by 1. So 3 minus 1 we get it as 2. Now plus. Now here the same power rule we are going to make use of. So the power 2 multiplies with 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times x to the power of 1 minus. Now here the differentiation of 7x we get it as 7. And differentiation of 90 is 0. So here if you observe, we have differentiated each term separately when there is addition or subtraction in the given expression. Now the rule number 6 is the product rule. So here d by dx of u times v. That is if two terms are being multiplied together, we are going to keep the first term as it is. That is u times, now the differentiation of the second term, that is dv by dx. Plus, now we are going to keep the second term as it is, that is v, and differentiate the first term that is du by dx. So the differentiation of the product terms are u times dv by dx plus v times du by dx. Now let us consider the first example. So here there is multiplication of two terms. The first term is 2x plus 3 and the second term is 4x minus 5. So let us consider that 2x plus 3 is u and 4x minus 5 is v. Next, in the formula we need du by dx and dv by dx which means we are going to differentiate u separately and v separately. So let us begin by differentiating the u term first. So du by dx is equal to, now the differentiation of 2x will give us 2 and the differentiation of 3 which is a constant gives us 0. Now differentiating v term that is dv by dx. Now again differentiation of 4x is going to give us 4 and differentiation of negative 5 is 0. Now once we have u 
we have du by dx, v and dv by dx. Let us plug in the values of all these four terms in this formula. So here we have written dy by dx is equal to u. u was considered to be as 2x plus 3. Multiplied with dv by dx we got it as 4. Plus v is 4x minus 5 times du by dx we got it as 2. Now the next step is simplification of this expression. Now we have to just expand the brackets and 4 multiplies with 2x giving us 8x. 4 multiplies with plus 3 giving us plus 12. Similarly 2 multiplies with 4x giving us 8x. And 2 multiplies with negative 5 giving us negative 10. So here we get dy by dx as 8x plus 8x gives us 16x and plus 12 minus 10 gives us plus 2. So this is the differentiation of y with respect to x that is by using the product rule. Now the next rule is the quotient rule. So it is used wherever there is division of the terms. Now here d by dx of u over v. So here the formula is v times du by dx minus u times dv by dx. Now the whole numerator is divided by v to the power of 2. Now let us understand this formula by using an example over here. So here y is given as 3x over 1 minus 3x. So we have to differentiate this given equation. And we can see that since there is division involved, we have to go for the quotient rule. So let us first begin by considering the numerator as u and the denominator as v. Now here u we have written as 3x and v as 1 minus 3x. That is the numerator and the denominator. Now in the formula we can see that we need the differentiation of u term as well as the v term. So let us begin by differentiating u. So here we are going to write du by dx and differentiation of 3x we get it as 3. Now let us differentiate v. So dv by dx. Now differentiation of 1 which is a constant is going to be 0 and differentiation of minus 3x gives us minus 3. So this is going to be equal to negative 3. Now we have u, we have v, we have du by dx and dv by dx. Let us plug in the values of all these four in this formula. So let me write here dy by dx is equal to v. So we have v as 1 minus 3x times du by dx we got it as 3 minus now u is 3x so let us write here 3x times dv by dx which we got as negative 3. Now the whole thing is divided by v square which is 1 minus 3x the whole square. Now we have to simplify the terms. Now in the numerator we are going to expand the brackets that is 3 multiplies with 1 giving us 3. 3 with minus 3x gives us minus 9x. Now here minus 3x multiplies with minus 3 giving us plus 9x divided by 1 minus 3x the whole square. Now in the numerator minus 9x and plus 9x will add up to 0. So we have 3 over 1 minus 3x the whole square. So this is how we differentiate the y expression using the quotient rule. Now the last rule we are going to learn is the chain rule d by dx of u to the power of a. Now first of all we are going to differentiate this whole term. So using the power rule we are going to write it as a times u to the power of a minus 1 and then we are going to differentiate the inside term which is u that is du by dx. Now remember these three steps whenever you are using the chain rule that is differentiate the outside first that is the whole expression first then differentiate the inside which is the u term and then multiply the terms you got in step 1 and step 2. Now let me explain it using an example. Now let us consider that z is equal to x square minus 5 to the power of 3. Now we have to differentiate this expression. Now here I am going to write differentiation of z with respect to x is equal to. Now according to the steps we have to differentiate the outside. The outside means the entire expression take it into consideration. So here I am going to use the power rule. So the power is 3 here. So the power comes out that is 3 and it multiplies with x square minus 5. And according to the power rule the power needs to be reduced by 1. So 3 becomes 3 minus 1 which is 2. So that is this part of this formula. 
a times u to the power of a minus 1. Now we have to differentiate the inside. Now the inside term is x square minus 5. So let us write the differentiation of x square is 2x using the power rule and the differentiation of negative 5 it is a constant so it is going to be 0. So let me write here minus 0. So I have differentiated the inside term also. Now the third step is multiply the terms you got it in step 1. So this is what we got it in step 1 and this is what we got it in step 2. So we have to multiply the terms. So here I am going to write 3. Let me simplify this. 3 times x square minus 5 to the power of 2. And 2x minus 1 I can just simply write it as 2x. So 2x multiplies with 3 which is outside the bracket and we get it as 6x. So 2 times 3 is 6 and x gets multiplied and we write x square minus 5 the whole square. So this is the differentiation of the given term. So you have to just remember three steps for the chain rule. That is differentiate the outside term as a whole term, then differentiate the inside term and then multiply the terms you got in step 1 and step 2. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can check out this playlist where I have explained more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.